It's 90.3 FM KEXP Seattle. You're tuned to Positive Vibrations with Kid Hops. Live in the studio, it's Chronix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ready now. Yeah, 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 ready. Cause I feel life and it's up Now stay down, no my time pick it up Now what I would it down to start Strictly up for vibes When the bills, them the rent and the mortgage due Yeah, yeah When me try this with your best friends are on Then it's only you Wrap up a suit and I'm in Everybody want
live on Positive Vibrations right here on KEXP 90.3 FM. KEXP 90.3. Yes, sir. Like we. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping through the studio on this Seattle visit while you guys are on tour. Um, 
I listen to your tunes and I hear so much of kind of early 80s Channel One output. Were those records an influence to you, you know, as, as you've matured in your songwriting and, and as you were penning this latest album? Um, you know, was that, was that, were those tunes an influence? Well, I mean, look at it this way, right? I think this is the easiest way to look at it. Reggae music as a whole is probably the greatest influence if we are talking about my musical journey and what led me to be the artist that I am right now. I think reggae music as a whole, Jamaican music, not just reggae music alone, mm-hmm. but Jamaican music, you know, from all the cultural music, all the folk music out of Jamaica, leading up to the more modern recorded classics, you know, of the late 60s to late 80s, yeah. And, and then everything else from there on, you know, because we, we is the youths of Jamaica, so, you know, it's only natural that we, 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 we carry the roots forward into the present and the future, you know, so, yeah. So you take everything in, in the history of Jamaican music and you mix it all up and then out comes the... Yeah, and it's not really me mixing it up really, it's just me being born out of it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just us being born, our sound, our persona, our spirituality, our culture, as it is now, is naturally born out of what was and what is, you know. Do you think that growing up in Spanish town has affected your music or your creativity in a way that would have sounded different had you grown up elsewhere in Jamaica? Yeah, definitely, definitely, because Spanish, I you see, it's just like anywhere else in the world. It affects your language. So even though, yeah, you speak, basically you speak English and Jamaican dialect, but um, it affects the way you speak. You know, like Spanish town, you use words like hombre. You know, that's how we refer to each other, like hombre. And, you know, certain little words and certain little gestures and attitude, you know, it's only found in Spanish town and, and that naturally comes out in, in the music that we make. Did it also affect the music that you were hearing when you were a kid, like growing up? I mean, different tunes are going down in Spanish town versus elsewhere, right? Well, not significantly, not significantly. You know, in, in Spanish town, I listen to a lot of everything. And, you know, what I hear in the dance in Jamaica is, is basically the same in most places. You know, what I hear in the parties and whatever. When you go to church, most church sing the same music. And, you know, most dance all play the same music, so... That now is, is, you know, you have Jamaican gospel music, Jamaican folk music, Jamaican reggae music, rock steady, rubber dub, dub, rockers, lovers rock. There's so many genres and sub-genres that you will hear in one party. And then you also hear in Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers and, and Whitney Houston in the same party. So, is you know, and you might hear Stamp by Kirk Franklin in the same party and jo- Grace Chillers, and he said, that's, that's how parties are in Jamaica, they play everything, you know, the multitude and the great wealth of Jamaican music, and then the other nice music from around the world, you know, <laughs> yeah. As you guys have taken your music out across the planet, as you've been touring and playing on all the continents, <laughs> what is the most surprising thing to you in terms of um, people's reception which which venues, which places are kind of surprising you the most? Well, it's never really a great surprise for me because, you know, I remember I've been dreaming about this. The only surprise is that your dreams really come true and everything that they told you about your dreams as a child, you know, brushing them off as just like little things that you see is wrong, you know. That's the only surprise I've seen because... I mean, for instance, a lot of these youths, I've known them for a while, and, you know, we imagine ourselves doing this thing from, from we are children, and now we are here, which is living proof that dreams are not just dreams, as people may, would want them to see. You know, there are visions of where you could go, and if, if you follow them, you, you'll get there, you know. So, I mean... Reggae music is a global music and it is a universal language. It is a language that every human on this planet can understand. 
I believe that. So, you know, um, it's never really a surprise to see the reception because I know it's not just reception because Chronics is here. It's reception because reggae music is here and Jamaican music is here. And here are some youth from a tiny island who, whose music is having a great impact on human life. So, you know, it, it, it's only natural that people will, you know, be excited about it. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm excited to hear more music. So you guys yeah. want to slide into another one? Black is beautiful, I don't know. Black skin, black queen, stand majestic with the black king Today I'll sing you a black song You need to hear about beautiful black things Cause most times we hear about black We hear about black magic and black witches Black list, black book, black market Black Friday, spend half your black riches I've never seen a doctor in black Nor seen a black pill for cure no black people But I've seen bush doctors like Tash and Molly Resurrect like a real black people Malcolm Marcus Martin When you see Walter Rodney ask him Oh you not hear more or we love pain So when the little offspring ask him Tell them they never told us That black is beautiful They never told us That black is beautiful They never told us Oh no that black is beautiful, they never told us They never told us that black is beautiful oh, oh, oh. You are behaving and I want like you never spent 500 years on a farm The same chain you are wear and I want is another black life in Sierra Leone Whoa. Find out mama earth got cool then Find out mama earth black soul then Work hard just to get a black card, see him card when you swipe by back your black hole them. See no faces long. This is not a racist song. This is a song for the children who was never told about where the race is from. Them never hear it in their favorite songs. Everybody come as a slave. He's done what I got one when the babies come. And start rebuilding like Dogans, Black Kemet and Kush. Black kings, black senate and books We teach about pyramids and put real significance to a physical looks So every word when we sing black In my world everything black Black, white, white, black, right back So don't be surprised if you see me in black Cause they never told us That black is beautiful, no, no They never told us Black is beautiful, they never told us, oh no that black is beautiful, oh no, no, no yeah, they never told us that black is beautiful They never told us They never Oh, they never Oh, they never uh, Teacher is teaching The things that he teaches I wonder who taught him to teach every day I say the preacher is preaching I wonder where did he get his degree Now this is no mystery Who taught us black history either Chronics live in the studio here at KEXP Seattle You mentioned that you've been You've known these guys and your band For most of your life well, not most. Well, some of them. I know everyone's a long time. Yeah. For for the majority of my life. And I know yeah, I know them for a while. I've known everybody here for more than maybe more than five years. But you were talking earlier about, you know, making dreams come true and following those dreams and I mean those are uh words to live by, especially, you know It's not words. really dreams don't really come true like how people think them come true and whatever and it's just you see, it's just like you have this room. And if you want to record, you walk into this room. And if you want to relax, you go into the green room. You know, that's how dreams are. 
you have your dream, you just have to walk into it. You know, like if you want to sing, then sing every day and continue to walk into being a singer, you know. Like if you have to choose between singing and something else, choose singing because that's what you want to be. You know, so it's just discipline and focus, you know, just discipline and focus. You know, if you want to drive to Seattle, don't drive to Oregon. <laughs> drive to Seattle, you know, and it's it, it's really it's really we make it a little complicated for ourselves because we create a lot of distraction for our own selves. Like education, for instance, as we experience it now, is a major distraction for many people because most people pursue things that they have to do based on their survival in society rather than doing what they really needed to do as a child growing up, you know? And hoping that after they leave school and after they um, create a solid security for themselves in society, they can now go and try to be a singer at age, however much. You know, and that is a major distraction for a lot of us. And our generation are, is now fighting to overcome being distracted from what we really wanted to do for so long, you know. And you, a lot of us find that, you know, our work in life is pr very much more important than our jobs because your job is really what you get paid to do, but then your work is your life work that only you can do it. You know what I mean? Think about it. You are the only one in the world can do what you need to do, you know, or else it's not really needed. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think about this a lot, and I think about the fact that, you know, the records you make will last forever, and the messages you sing will be there for future generations to come, right? So what is that most important message that needs to reach the youth? Is it that? Is it find the talent that is uniquely yours and pursue it at all costs because the fact of the matter is the thing that only you can do is the thing that you need to do? Well, hear what? The main message in our music is Rastafari because everything else is just ideas and ideologies that comes out of human mind and their selfish ways of thinking. The thing with Rastafari, you know, Rastafari is what? is a gateway towards self-realization, which is key because if you know who you are and you know what you are, then everything else happens by intuition. Intu you intuitively know what to do, you know? So I'm not really here to give someone my manual, you know? We give them the, the way to discover their own manual because everybody is unique. And self-realization is what helps you to understand it, the uniqueness of yourself, your true self, not just your body, not just your ethnicity, not just your language, not just your culture, but your, your true self, which sometimes will cause it to derive a little bit from your culture and your language. You might have to learn a new language to, to fully manifest your true self. You might have to live with a new family for a while. You might have to, you know, practice new spiritualities that weren't, you know, accepted in your tribe or in your home or in your family. So, you know, it's really for, 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 for the youth them to understand themselves and to, to see themselves, really. Yeah. That's the that's real message, Rastafari. There's no, there's no greater or lesser message that we are trying to communicate. We've got Chronics live in the studio. Yeah. We've got time enough for one more. Yeah. Will you play another tune? Yeah, man. I'll play the next tune. I'll play Likes. Yeah. Do it for the love, and do it for the likes. Yeah. Do it for the love, and do it for the likes. Uh, and not everybody I got like. Everybody I got like. Still make I ivory. Cause we not love a lot. Man in a dancer style And not everybody I go like We still me I Cause we no love like she know Every time I buy We do it for the love We no do it for the life And then we do it for the love We no do it for the life And we 
we met them no success no come overnight. I made them know a substance over I Do it for the love and I do it for the life None of them love likes that don't right See them on a post and a tweet all night See them on social media type One like said them they ask you their advice But me never bought them up on no flight And me never see them a live no go life You won't miss someone know you have so much life Money still a live on iTunes live in the studios here at KEXP. You guys are continuing to travel across the U.S. In, and Canada yeah. in support of Lauren Hill and Nas, right? Yeah. And then uh, you've got a Caribbean tour coming up uh, kind of late autumn through the winter. I don't understand the seasons really because <laughs> but the seasons occur differently for us as <clears throat> African and Caribbean people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, fair but enough. But in, in November in, and December. In November and December. Yeah. You know, yeah, because we don't really have much winter in the Caribbean like that. Okay. And autumn and things like this. More than we just know, say, sun is shining right through. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. How can people keep up with, how can people keep up with all of your music? Chronics.com. What's the URL? How do people follow yeah, along? Chronicsmusic.com. Okay. You know, and everything is Chronics Music, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of these. All of this. Chronix Music. C-H-R-O-N-I-X-X Music. At everything. (laughs) Wicked. (laughs) Thanks again for being here. Thank you so, so much. Many, many thanks. Respect. It's 90.3 FM, KEXP. Positive Vibrations.
Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.